Soft Landing ultimately through Resource Recovery Australia. We are a social enterprise under a non-profit organisation and we're all about job creation. A social enterprise is a business that's driven by a social, economic, cultural and environmental mission consistent with public benefits. So we bring in about 350 mattresses per site per day. From there, we break them down to get all the recyclable material. So we take the foam out, the timber out and the metal out and we recycle all those components. Each of those help create more jobs and pathways to employment for people who would normally not get a chance. We've got a waste wages agenda. For us, it's about bringing most uh, disadvantaged people in our community, give them meaningful employment, train them up, and then use that as a springboard for them to enter the open labour market. These guys are pretty much about giving people second chances, so they let me come in, prove myself, and they've given me opportunities to better my life. I probably wouldn't have got those chances anywhere else. In providing a platform for social change, you know, partnerships like the one with IKEA and Soft Landing is hugely important. We want to align our business to have a positive impact on both people and the planet. And hopefully by communicating that to other businesses, they can see the benefit as well of working with a social enterprise like Soft Landing. My name is Rhiannon Wright and I'm a Darug woman. I'm currently a team leader for the Bushfire Maintenance Works. It's really good working at Murramidiga because you get a lot of opportunities and there's a lot of different people from different areas and you hear everyone's different stories and learn lots of new things. Murramidiga is an Aboriginal owned social enterprise. So here today we're standing on a site that is a partnership with the Department of Education. They've really embraced the Indigenous procurement policy, using our social enterprise model to do good things for the community. Social procurement is really the purchase of goods and services and social impact, and it's actually about saying we want a fairer economy that actually drives social and economic and environmental outcomes. I think the biggest thing to reinforce is it doesn't need to be a risk. There are social enterprises that have all the best people under the one roof. In the case of Mira Medigar, our prime focus has always been that they've been able to deliver those compliant base services at a quality and cost that you would expect from any government engaged contractor. As we see business and government starting to lead, then in years to come we'll be talking about billions in social procurement. My personal dream is to actually encourage other Aboriginal owned businesses to develop their capacity so we all meet the expectations of our clients and also help the community at the same time. You get really good job satisfaction at the end of the day. You go home knowing that you've actually done something to contribute to the community. So value has gone from just being about price and risk to price and risk and a whole range of other social, economic and environmental factors. And I think in five years' time the norm will be, of course you do that, and I think in ten years' time the norm will be social procurement.